What's up? Danny from KBO here, and I'm here today to show you how to use a multimeter for continuity checks. The um, reason we do this sometimes is uh, sometimes people have trouble uh, between halves of the keyboard not talking to each other properly, and the one thing we uh, want to check first is if the TRS cable is functional or not. So right here, I've got this one multimeter here. I've got another one here as well that I'll show later. Um, we'll put that aside for now. Um, but if you look here at this multimeter, I'm gonna unravel this. Unplug these cables here. Uh, first of all, got this black one black terminal here. It says COM. So that's pretty much ground. So we'll plug that in. And then on this particular multimeter, we've got uh, amp measurements. So 20 amp and then milliamps, microamps. And then the one we really want here is voltage, ohms, capacitance, and then diode, beep mode. So I'm gonna plug that in there. Now, the mode that we wanted to use for continuity checks is the beep mode. Um, not all multimeters will have a beep mode. Uh, some will just be a diode mode, or failing that, if there's no diode mode or beep mode, you can use resistance check. So the beep mode on here is right here. So see that speaker like icon right there um, and that's also the same function as the diode mode so the diode mode um, you know, it's not too relevant here but that will tell you if um, what the voltage drop of a diode is which can come in handy for um, you know if at some point but not today all right so I've turned it to beep mode first thing we want to check is if it beeps or not so take the black and red end Touch it together, makes a beep. Um, like I said, not all multimeters will have a beep mode. Um, in that case, sometimes it would just be diode mode where the voltage drop is measured as zero. Okay, so what we wanna do here is, for this TRS cable, there's four different connectors on here. The sleeve, ring, another ring, and the tip. And between both halves of this cable, the sleeves are connected together. This ring is connected together with the other ring. This ring here is connected to the other ring, and then this tip is connected with the other tip. Um, and then there should be no crosstalk, so this tip in no way should have any kind of resistance or anything like that with the rings or the sleeves and you know, it's with all these other permutations as well. So I'll start off with the sleeve and then work my way outwards. So Got this one on here. I'm gonna test the sleeves on both. It works out fine. Uh, and then from there, while I'm keeping this um, lead on the left sleeve, I'm gonna test the right ring and the right tip. Make sure there's no crosstalk. So the sleeve's been tested. Now we're gonna test the first ring. That checks out. Doesn't, all right, doesn't work for the tip, which is expected, which we don't want. Uh, on to the next ring a beep check the tip all right and then here we're going to check both tips so that works so this cable theoretically should work fine when we're doing our split keyboard um, if you don't have a beep mode or a diode mode you can just set it to one of the resistance modes uh, here I've set it to 2k uh, right here on my multimeter it says dot zero L. Um, basically that's just equivalent to infinity for this particular model. I think some other models they'll show a different indicator to indicate infinite resistance or like no reading of some sort. Um, so the first thing I want to check is I always want to check what happens when I connect these two together. So it reads at almost zero resistance which we should expect. And then we'll measure this cable again. So, sleeve to sleeve, it reads at almost zero. And checking these two rings together, that works out. Checking the other pair of rings, okay, looks checks out. And then checking the tips. So, zero resistance between everything. So I'll put this multimeter away. Bring out this other one here. Same procedure here as we were doing earlier with the other multimeter. 
first thing I always do is touch these two leads together. Uh, let's see, this one does not beep right at the moment. I think I have to hit select button to get it to beep mode. So yeah, you can see the buzzer icon on here, beep icon on there. So now that I touch it together, it beeps. And I'll do the same exact procedure I was doing before. Sleeve to sleeve, then test the rings and the tip. And move on, on to the ring, test the rings. And the other two contacts. All right, and then now the tip. And this left tip does not contact with any of these other three on here. So there we go. That's how you do a continuity test with a multimeter. Um, at least for the cable. So the other test that we want to do sometimes is with a board. So I'm going to connect the TRS cable in here. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. Uh, sometimes yeah, the ports can be tight and it'll stick out a little bit. What you want to do is make sure they're fully seated in. Um, so the way I designed my boards, there's going to be four pins connected between each half here. VCC, that's your five volts. There's ground. Uh, and then there's D0 and D1. So those are the pins I use for I squared C interconnect between the two halves. So what we want to do here is, let's double check our beeps. So we'll check VCC. Uh, at least on these PCBs here, VCC is labeled uh, around the ProMicro. So we'll touch that together. So that works. Next, we'll touch ground together. And then lastly, we'll check D1. And we'll also check D0. So that check tells us that both halves are properly connected together. And well, I don't have the Pro Micros on here at the moment, but theoretically, if I solder on the Pro Micros, uh, plug it into the computer, and flash them, uh, these two halves should be able to talk to each other just fine. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully this video was informative.